Firefighters are breathing a sigh of relief as the blaze burns away from homes. But the fear is as the summer heat intensifies, it may happen again. So as ABC 15's Christopher Sign reports, new rules are in place for campers and visitors. The winds have picked up and the fire does continue to grow. More than 800 personnel are on this fire, working it from virtually every angle that you see behind me. The smoke at times has been dark, which is a sign there is active fire that is burning in heavily wooded areas. Meanwhile, new restrictions are set to go in place to prevent situations like this. This is a cause for concern. And that concern, combined with a massive Schultz fire eating away at the landscape, the fire restriction move by the Forest Service was an easy decision. Fire restrictions are necessary right now with the way we're seeing fire behave in the National Forest. The restrictions will be closely monitored and due to the fact this was caused by an abandoned campfire, officials will be keeping a close eye on the forest. This means that campfires are only allowed in developed pay type campgrounds in the designated campfire rings. Items like portable stoves with an on off switch are allowed. And for smokers, those cigarettes and cigars are prohibited. Smoking needs to happen inside an enclosed building or in your vehicle. This forest sees an average of 100 human caused fires per year. The restrictions aim to reduce that figure. We want folks to respect this area just like it's their own fenced yard. Be consciously aware of the area that you're in. Folks should still come and enjoy the cool weather here in Flagstaff and in northern Arizona. Just be careful with fire. As for now, those restrictions will remain in place until further notice. We expect to get a new update on the acreage and the containment of this fire within the next two hours. Christopher Sign, ABC 15 News.